Hey what's everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another live 5v5 war for you here in Tribe Gaming. It's going to be Tribe versus Penta in our week 2 matchup of the MLCW League. Let's go ahead and see if Tribe can come out with the victory today. Nine to Inferno with the RC. No, probably not. But, uh, you can use your king and RC over there. Or, or like, king and ice golem to go into the corner. Yeah. King and ice golem probably is a nice thing there. They can't be a spring trap. If you send it in from nine, just use like one or two super goblins since you don't need anything else. The thing is like where do you use the queen? <laughs> Uh, probably at like four. To get the wizard tower, arch tower. Just the funnel. You don't want her to pull the CC though. So I guess yeah, you do the king and the RC then. It. Or I feel like there's not much that the bats have to take out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was about to say the same because if you take out, like, if you take out the single to top side basically, which is like. Three ADs though, that's nice. Can you wall break on the wizard tower at like 10 o'clock? Uh, it should be, yeah. I don't think so. Where else would the wall breaker go? To the center, to the scatter shot. Or like the um, uh, 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 sweeper. Maybe mm. go to the next base so since we only have 10 minutes until we have to attack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like the drag bat plan, plan actually. If you use Ice Golem and two Super Goblins over at 9, funnel the King in, then add the RC at uh, 10 to get the Wizard Tower, uh, and then you send Dragons and Blimp, and yeah, should be fine. I mean, you have to Blimp early so you can start early with the bats, I think. But since okay. the scatter shot damage will be there soon, so early warden is good. Okay, number two. There will be Tesla around the CC. Guess so, yeah. On number two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess you could drop like a scally spell or something to lure them. But I'm not sure if that's. The scally spells lure Teslas? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do they? No. Yes, yes. I don't think so. Really? Yes, of course. Yes, I do. Yeah. You could also use a pet mm -hmm. if you Okay. Interesting. Welcome. Welcome to Clash of Clans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Could we either blimp or zap one of the scattershot compartments and then just walk from like say 10 up to 11 double wall break into the town hall like hybrid the rest uh, I don't know you're say going into the gr two ground expos and the, and the warden and single so. tower so at least for the zap plan um, with the blimp yeah if the blimp makes it the HT family just like send e drags from 6 o'clock <laughs> with the slammer. <laughs> it always triples. Oof. That's can you. Crazy how could they have them under control? Can you Royal Champ RC the scatter? Looks like it, right? Uh, did, did I. Uh, uh, Royal Champ Sui, not Royal Champ RC. Royal Champ Sui scatter? Yeah, you should have a little ground kill, yes. And, um. You might be able to do something with dragons here, too. So you could send an ice golem there, let's say at 3. So then. Sweet your queen at 7 30 at the wizard tower. King from 6 upwards or at 4 o'clock outside. 
dragons in. So the only thing then is, since you have to blimp the town hall again, the most important thing is how to get the scatter at 9 o'clock. You could start the bed bomb there if you want. But the wizard tower may cover it. Nick, are there any of these bases you see a good Zapalolo for? Because we're running out of time. Uh, I'm looking. I see number three, yes, but I don't know how to see the town hall is the only issue. Can we attack first? Yeah. 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 What is this? Uh, what league is this? MLCW. No yep. Oh, okay. Do you see a good way to see the town hall on three? With a zapping and then... Uh, I don't know, you might just have to use the wall right here. Wall I mean, you can probably wall break to the cannon. So it yeah. opens to the town hall too. Mm, take out the... Way, take out the 10 o'clock uh, cannon with two loons. And use king and RC at the top side. But there will still be the RC platform. Yeah, if you zap the, the CC, the ground bow, bomb tower, the other two zaps for the sweeper, you can have your king walk to the right from 12 o'clock, and then your RC over at 10:30. And yeah, ice golem, queen, uh, with the wall break on the left side of that cannon at 11. Yeah, the problem is the king, uh, the queen probably stays in this compartment and doesn't go to the town hall because she has to take out the RC platform, and then she's closer to the elixir storage and wizard tower. Hmm. That would work. Yeah, I mean the Lalo pathing from like two o'clock is still really good. So I don't think you have to have the slammer. Mm -hmm. I'll just do moss yeah. holds. Mm -hmm. yeah. With the. Uh... Expo center bomb tower in this center location. I think the pathing will be messed up and they might be stay up for very long. Yeah, I think it works. Um, what would you do with your king and queen then? Because I don't know if it's the best value just to wall breaker in for one single target inferno. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> Can we look at four? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I have no idea. Think about the Yeti smash there. I'm not sure if like left or right side, but it's pretty much the same. So I probably would do one walk for the elixir storages at one o'clock. Takes a little time, but that's okay. Then you use a Yeti at three o'clock. Funnel a little with a wizard as well at four. And then you just jump over the wizard tower and the AD, send everything from there. Early siege barrier at 12, so the hawks quickly take out the uh, the, the eagle. Yeah. Then yeah, you jump once outside to the scatter shot first, and the second jump is basically to the core. From there you can reach the town, uh, the yeah the tunnel obviously, and also the two single inferno towers. I think it can work. I think so too. Wondering if something could walk around that really messes it up. Is the cannon on the top side gonna lure my queen around? The outside is she gonna take a jump or will she walk upwards? The biggest concern. Hmm. I had a Yeti Blimp hybrid idea on this one as well. You can Yeti Blimp one of the two single inferno towers at the bottom side, go out the clan castle with this. Start the queen on the same side on the on the flank, like let's say you're leaving the right inferno, then you're starting at three, funnel to the top side, walk down into the AD, wall break into the bomb tower, then hybrid from six with the king on the flank. Since it's a normal hybrid, you have tons of heals, so the back and eagle shouldn't be that bad of a problem. Similar to the base I attack yeah. where we had the sap, the bloom for the infernos as well. Do you remember that? Hmm? Do you remember the one base? Like I attacked similarly, 
which you win it was, but we also had like Zep one Inferno Tower and Glimp the other one. Yeah, and the qualifiers, uh, but back then there was way more value for the Zeps. Over here you do not get too much. Yeah. So there's no point in Zepping. Would be a classic Queen Charge hybrid with the Yeti, uh, with the, yeah, Yeti Blimp. Where Where is the Yeti Blimp at? To a single. Uh, bottom right, Inferno. <laughs> Wall break into the expos. Yep. Or oh, scatter. Question is, the mean is probably gonna die eventually in four, obviously, with a single. I won't be fine with the healer swap. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Five looks really compact as well. You almost ready, Nick? Yeah. Mm, and five ready plan as well. Not one hundred percent sure yet, but I think it could work. So um, the plan was to start the queen at six, uh, funnel the mortar on the left, funnel with the king I think on the right. He wall break in at six into the air defense. The queen should take out the signal from the tower. Then she'll walk to the left because on the right side everything is cleared because of the king. Like, the queen should go in, she can reach the cannon as well. Then she's going to the left, um, and then you will look in at the wizard tower one more time. You place one yeti on the elixir storage, and uh, one or two wizards on the mortar in the storage, so the storage is gone, and the queen is going inside uh, for the town hall. And then the queen is going to go on, on the outside again, most likely, and uh, will continue her path over there. And meanwhile, you can choose yeah, king and siege breaks from 3 to 12 and hybrid with queen. Yeah, I mean, the king is already gone, as you said, but yeah, siege breaks. Yeah, back. but like the king is like starting to clear already everything there, yep. so it's you can you start to be careful. It's finished. You only have to be careful with the funnel at 7, so you don't lose this early. Good luck, Nick. Okay. I thought about Zaphox at number 5. Okay, let's go option the attack. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, Nick coming in with the first attack of the war. Let's see if he can get the triple here. Gonna zap the CC. He decides to go for the ground expo instead of the, I mean the air expo instead of the ground expo, which is actually pretty smart, considering he's doing Lalo. RC at 10.30, Roach, or yeah, King to walk up from 10.30. RC goes up. RC ability? RC. Pops her ability, gets a few defenses down. King gonna pop his ability. Is Queen even gonna go in oh. here? Okay. Barbarians, go, 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 go. I got it. Yes. yes. As planned. Wall record for the town hall. Let's make sure this gets it. Please. Should be able to get it no problem at all. He forgot got to bring a super wall breaker for, <laughs> for the scatter. Okay, Queen. Oh god, it's so unlucky. Didn't get the Maybe air defense. Yeah, I needed the idiot. Yeah. Okay, go. Okay, you can start. Turn all this down. Here we go. Get our shot, it should be locked on the hound, which is really nice. Tesla at 4 o'clock. Pops a word ability there for the headhunters. Looking good so far. Finds a Tesla farm at 4.30. All the loons have been used. I don't know if he's going to get that wizard tower down at 6 o'clock. That's the only thing that concerns me. You can use freeze maybe on the scatter shot. Depends on if it goes to the loons. Are you... Oh, everything skips the AD. It's okay. Okay, now be patient. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. The warden gets targeted I'm should be fine. by the air expo. Warden is taking like a boss. Maybe freeze first? Yeah, nice. Oh, that split. So good. That should be a really nice split. Yeah. No haste. Let's go. Haste, haste, haste. Up. How many units Nick saves? <laughs> oh my nice gosh. Job. Nick, the yeah, Lalo God. Nice job. Nice job, Nick. OP. Especially with the. Limited amount of planning, planning time. 
Yes, yes, yes. Well, those hogs are OP. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> nice okay so number time. five, I thought you can do um, an ice golem at six and the RC onto the cannon next to the archer tower to take out the single. Probably the wizard tower. After you zap the CC, uh, the ground bow and the wizard tower, then you use your king from three to five. So eventually he will walk into the air defense, your wall break there, and you set the queen in behind. He wall break like on the elixir storage? Yeah. And how do you fund that three? Like the wizard tower or so? At three, the wizard tower? I just let the king walk from 3 to 4. Okay. Okay, but you should send your RC in from 6 from the archer tower because if there are Tesla on the ro between the two cannons, you could walk, the uh, RC could walk over. But yeah. So then you do, you get the scattershot with your queen ideally. The eagle ideally. Okay, well, that's ambitious. You have two X bows, 12 ground bows. One is gone. And uh, I can use an ice golem over there too. Tauno is taken out with the war wrecker. War wrecker. And then hawks from um, 8 to 9. So you have to wait until the Tauno is down before you can send the queen in? No. I will send the, the war wrecker when the queen is done. Do we have uh, anybody who can go next? If you, you war wrecker at the elixir storage, the queen can also reach Tauno there. Yeah, if she goes for it. Oh, yeah. Maybe Itsu, your plan on four? Do you want to do Got that attack? Kids, baby. Uh, yeah, I guess I have to. Okay. Yeah. Manny coming in with the tier one sub. We don't have many uh, plans yet. Love you, I Manny. Think. Number one, we do drag bed, yeah? Yikes. Yeah, there was more question. <laughs> I need to see. Oh, she dies through her ability. Wow. Then, um, and what about the plan on... Uh, so you do a um, hybrid on uh, number four, Jan? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so then you can't do the Yeti smash there. So how does our drag expert I mean, you, you Nick? You can do the Yeti smash as well. Like, that's I think it's fine. okay. Nick, how do you like the plan on number one, the drag oh, I think you suggested it even. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I mean, I think it works. Congrats on the switch on jobs. Just saw the Y tube bit a bit late. Lex Should you get the town hall? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they probably have the tornado. Is this going to be a triple? Should still get it. It's gonna pop the RC ability here, it has the freeze. Mm -hmm. No, it's a time fail. Like between the sweepers, the defense, the, the defense. The Cribbly with the tier 1 sub. Yep. Thanks, man. I think I would use a, a dragon and, and big uh, veil. CC and <laughs> Thank rage you. It. 89%. Yeah, you don't need that many freezes in the 40 second range. So when do I have to go in? Uh, 35. 40 to 35 minutes left this time. Okay. So, okay, it's you on 4. Danny, which one do you want? Sure, to be honest. Depends on what plan you figure out for number 2. Maxi, you want yeah. number 5? Yeah. So, I mean, I think we're really lacking good plans here at the moment, so... I mean, I, I think... Would have been possible, even, yeah. oh, the what? Yeah. The Queen Charge hybrid? Yeah, but yeah, if you have... I wasn't really convinced. I'm not convinced oh, by your uh, Queen like, get, but... <laughs> makes it. Oof. Four ground bows. You see like a good Zeplado maybe? Or I guess it's only the CC really, maybe a Tesla if we use an extra spell. What? Which one? Two. Oh, 
We even get an expo. Not really. Give me one sec. What if? I mean, the other option you have is like a Yeti beam for the scatter and then walk into the town hall. Yeah, that's what I said uh, at the beginning, right? So it's, it's, I don't know, like the blimp has to get kind of far, but I think you can angle it that they won't expect it, like over the archer tower from 9, for example. I think it might be better to go on the 3 o'clock side so you can get the warden before the town hall activates. Mm, yes, but yeah. I was thinking about 9 o'clock because then you don't have the threat of the Royal Champion doing your Yetis away or something like that. Hmm. What about like a Yeti Bobat? You walk one of the scatters and then you double wall break into the town hall. One walk? Do. Yeah, Warden Walk, scatter at like say 3, 2. Do a King Siege Barracks at 12, RC afterwards. The problem is walking up. Uh, yeah, Skatter Shot usually often requires a Rage as well. Especially because you probably have at least yeah, one round or so. Damn it. Drex on one as well. Instead of normal Drex, since everything is so jumped up. Yeah, you could, but I don't like the Jerks with so few spells. Alright, it's you need to attack now. Yeah. Okay. Top 35. You get to start before 35? Yes. Okay. Good enough. Does yeah, someone have super goblets? And the same thing as always. Yeah. I can switch accounts if you need them, Maxi. Uh, I do, yeah, but really just have them. Good, Good luck. luck with Jan. Thank you. See if it's you can go. Oh, yeah, finds a tornado. Ah, I got him. I uh, have them on my second too. Alright, gets the Inferno Tower with the Rage. Pulls the CC as well. Starting the Queen at 3. Early poison, please. Yes. Wizard to help. Kill that hound super fast, that's nice. All the pups. Also funneled the bottom side, so Queen should be able to go in there. I think he's gonna wall break right where the bomb tower is. Looking good so far. Gonna have to rage soon. And wall break. Ooh, that wall break is interesting. Nice Coco Loon. Hopefully Queen goes inside this wall break. Oh, nice freeze. Freeze. Rage spell keeping that Queen alive. Eagle Artillery is activated, which kind of sucks because he dropped the King. Tesla's at the King. Probably Tesla farm. Yep, Tesla farm and Skellies. Watch the Queen. Yep, yep, I'm extra. Is popping the king here. Oh, this pathing to the town hall is actually Needs a little a iffy. Needs a good wall. Yes. Come on, miners, go to the town hall, please. Okay, they will. Pops a warden ability. Queen gets the single. Queen's gonna get a lot of value here. She gets the scatter shot. Oh my gosh, that's OP. Nice, you have two yeah. more heals. Nice. Um, so we'll use them early because there's not much left of the base. Yeah, nice. Looks very good, Jan. Oh baby, so even though... Super wall breaker. Yeah, Super wall breaker was trolling. Oh my gosh, he goes for an outside wall. Oh, so are the healers. Queen dies to a down. mortar. Uh, Archer might get the spell factory at 3. Put it as far away from the cannon as possible. Still have one healer, no? Yeah, but I don't. Yeah. Yeah, maybe heal the royal champion. Oh, no, no, it's green here. Yeah. Use RC, I think, early, early. No, no, no. I did, I did, yeah. I did, I did. Perfect. <laughs> oh, not perfect. Also, you did perfect, it's, but I want. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It should be alright. 
<laughs> Maxi with the OP thing. calls. Is it? It's nice. Alter, I would nice say, is. yeah, like the Royal Champ is normally pretty fast and the Archer was perfectly timed, so yeah, easy. Nice, oh, nice. job, Itsu. Ooh. Okay. I wasn't sure Archer about that. Archer call, saving really. the triple. Let's go. <laughs> Oof. I was thinking, like, why don't you have a million? <laughs> At least, at least somehow I can help with tripling if I can't don't get them myself. Uh, what <laughs> the fuck was the arch, uh, what the, was the super what we could do once once again? Oh, yeah. oh baby, Mad Dog and Kelly Bean with the tier one subs. Thanks guys, you are awesome. Thanks, do you want to do that? Can just hyper and do? Uh, yeah, I can because I don't really like the other plans on it. Okay. <laughs> Is there any advantage? When I can just lure the CC at 6 o'clock, number one, with a queen wolf or so, or a giant, two giants. Uh, we could do like a yeti. Start queen at 6. Maxi, can you go next by the way? Yeah. Okay. Could do something like HT fam, or I'm not sure if it was HT or the... the... Dance clan, they did like a queen walk with the warden at six. Just take out a CC, let her walk either way. Just enter with the yetis at like, let's say, eight o'clock. What about the multi inferno? Let's forget that. You could send a wall breaker in at six o'clock, like, then it's op gonna open up the wall. The queen can actually step inside there. <clears throat> yeah, it's a random. Skip. Mm. Might have a plan for it, we'll see in a second after this attack. Like, maybe you could, uh, blimp for the multi at 6, and then walk the queen from 6 to either side, and like wall break in at 4.30 or 7.30, and then just quick hybrid uh, for the single target inferno, and keep queen going to the core. Yeah, they <laughs> um, alternate copied the no was like yeah, some okay. clan copied the exactly. base um, and they tried like a really weird attack on that and I just said like whatever what the other people normally doing like with the yeti smash is working pretty well. Yeah. Didn't expect you would use their base again, though. Well, we had two in the festival against them. That defended pretty well besides the yeti smash. Yeah. I could not know. Alright, so Lewis is coming in with the Yeti Smash on Danny's base. Let's see if it's gonna work. Double jump through the core. One or two days as well. I'm gonna Sometimes pop the Warden ability was, here. Had actually two on. Town Hall goes down. But of course, the healers stay on the like a boss. The Queen is not going for the CC. Healers stay on the Warden. They're not on the Yetis, which is nice for us. Ooh, nice, the Hogs. The Hogs all dead. Hogs all died to the Bomb Tower. Just now so pulling the CC. Down. Road champ on the top side. Queen's tanking for her. He does have two freezes. Gonna have to pop. He would bounce it, but now the royal champion. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that oh, warden. Okay. <laughs> yeah, royal champion would have gotten it, I think. Ah, it's a triple, I guess. Oh, the pumps are very good. Still. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was low. I think he's got it. Yeah, RC can finish the rest of the base. Doo -doo. Nice triple from Lewis. Lewis, uh, Yeti smash got. That's the easiest base for Yeti smash literally. When the CC is like so far back, it's not hard to. Because it like has no effect on. Mm. Yeah, well, pretty much good against everything but Yetis. Well, wow. okay. We target to the Skellies. Okay. <sighs> nice oh, triple yeah. from them. One is pretty far back. Can you do Yetis? <laughs> no. I think. Just add the Queen at Maybe 12. Maybe try. Nice. 
Let's go. No, 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 no. I see. How do you know that? Ward walk okay. itself, and then you have to find that three somehow, so you could do like your witches and that CC early. Can you warp back at the wizard total? Or? Can you can you just queen can you just queen and warden at twelve and let them pick which way they go and like say they go to the right you go all the way down to like two or three o'clock and enter into the infernal compartment and just blimp the town hall. Yeah. Can you do a jump of the scatter. Then. And then jump triple. The or you do siege break on that side as well and just jump into the scatter and expect to get the town hall there. Oof. Hmm. The siege break on the bottom side is probably just gonna. You have uh, one minute to go in, Maxi. Thank you. I guess you could lure the sea early though on that base section. So I can already go in, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going in. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. Maxi with the mass hog attack. Let's hope it works. <coughs> Here go the zaps. King to walk down. Road champ for the inferno. It's a good ice golem. And the skelly trap. Come on, don't invest the freeze. He doesn't need it. Perfect. Pop a king ability. Road champ even gets a shot off on the. Oh, she gets the bomb tower. Yes, that's so good. Wallbreaker got exactly what he wanted. Green can get the town hall. Yeah. Would be fine. I wonder what he has in his ram. What's in your clan castle? Super goblins. Yeah, there's one three siege barracks, yep. And she gets the eagle. Oh, that's so good. Sure. What a suey. I wish he had hogs in the siege barracks now. Oh, he drops the Warden first, and he's going to take a lot of damage from that cannon. Why? It's okay. Headhunters for the king. I have to pop the Warden ability soon. Very soon. Here goes the Warden ability. Still have two headhunters. Hogs are splitting uh -huh. in weird I directions. Road champ goes down, warden's still alive. Oh, this is looking good. Can put Archer at three. <laughs> Look at all those <laughs> super goblins <laughs> on the top side. You have like 25 million cleanup opens. <laughs> oh my god, the cleanup is so fast. <laughs> <laughs> we count. Which is Let's go, <laughs> finally. <laughs> yes, <Hello>. Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I think the best the best part about this attack was by <laughs> far the cleanup headhunters, Maxi. <laughs> so oh yeah, my gosh. In the first stream we had like a, I don't know, a really long discussion about if you could use headhunters as cleanup troop or not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can you go next, uh, next, next? Yeah. Itsu, do you think the blimp on the left side is better than the right side, just because of the king? To be honest, I think if you put it over the archer tower, like the archer tower which is on the outside, then it shouldn't matter. It's better because, like you said, the warden early would be way better. Yeah, okay. And just remember that Danny said I was expecting a lot from my queen to get the eagle. 
She got the town hall and the eagle. <laughs> Did she get both? Yeah. Yeah. No, but I'm not sure. I said. I said that I think she would take out the town hall before the eagle, so that was at least correct. Yeah, it was. That was right. Yeah. <laughs> nice attack. I didn't even see it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Nice team. Trying to. Uh, Danny, you could do the zap all in on number one that Maxi suggested. Sick. I think the Sui ward is good. Yeah, but the C in the backside is like. Yeah, but the chance is already to have. <laughs> I was just looking at how to do the drag bed. But. The thing is, like, if I send my RC in it from 10 o'clock to get the <laughs> at that, that wizard tower, I'm probably gonna get the AD as well, and then I don't have that much for the bed section. Do you want to just do Master Dragon? Sure. Good. I mean, if you're really lucky, your RC ability chains to the other AD at the top, too. Okay, that's good. I don't think I get that far because of the ground bow and the... Yeah, but, I mean, like, all she has to do is take down the wizard tower. Then if you pop it on the AD, he goes... But I probably the AD. Like, if I send the king and the ice golem in line, like, two super goblin, the final, then the king probably would step down to the queen, so hopefully he gets that AD as well. Then mm -hmm. my RC comes in early as well from the border. So the archer tower, the cannon, then the wizard tower, and then usability probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though, like, no matter where, I think if you pop it on the AD, it'll go to the other AD. Yeah, if I pop it on the AD, but I think I have to pop it on the tower more like... Because the scatter shot is gonna kill my queen pretty fast. Maybe. And the problem is, if I send my queen in at 4, that's okay, I think. But, dragon funnel like this, not that much funnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to use a couple dragons. Or you could bring an E drag. Because it's probably going to be Tesla's the chain off of you. Can a super arch get that? There we go. Oh. Super arch with it there? Didn't get the eagle. Oh, CC. Oh, it's just a blimp. On the Dark Mix of Story. That's yeah. right, they have, their Yeti blimp failed so badly. They wanted to get the eagle. Ah, but, well, the queen will get the eagle eventually, so I guess it's fine. Mm -hmm. Triple they are, queen charge. Yeah, I tested that a couple of times, I think, but I'm not sure if I changed anything after that. Nice headhunter. Where is the next wall break? There it is, perfectly placed. I think I tested this with Queen Charge Lalo. Mm. Ooh, it's a lot of damage. Both, uh, both heroes. Not to rage again. Yep, keeping Queen alive, nicely done. Now he's gonna hybrid execution so far from the right side. Oh, Tony coming with the 200 bits. What's up, Tony? Not dropping a miner to the hunt camp. Pops the Queen ability. It's the enemy queen, still has two freezes that he can use. Pathing to the town hall should be set here. Miner's activated, pops the warden ability. Nope, he's gonna freeze first. Oh, the split. Warden Ooh, goes warden down. Warden goes away from the RC. Oh, he has to freeze to get this town hall. Pops her ability, he does get the town hall down. But now RC should die because of that, I think. Yeah, she does. Does he have enough to get through it? Let's see. Miners take out the enemy king. They're gonna go toward the scatter shot. Queen's tanking the scatter. That's a fail. I think it's a fail. <clears throat> Single target inferno stays up. Queen already popped her ability. She's really low on HP. Could the queen just die, please? Oof, okay. she stays alive. I think she'll survive the whole hit, but it will be a time fail. Or fail fail. Mm -hmm. We'll never know. I think technically it's kind of funny because it's a time the time is already three times since the fade. 
Oof. Nice defense. Godly base. Oof. I need I need a new one at some point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm very uh, excited what, the, what they will do on my uh, base. Old Maxi base? <laughs> that is <laughs> funny. <laughs> if you could change bases during the war, when the war is already won, just run it. <laughs> A little worried about this AD at 12, but it's probably where the Tesla farm is. But oh, well. You can use the Jedi over there. Yeah, I will. You if the one? Tesla are popping up, just don't be afraid of using Hawk Riders over there as well in addition. Yes. Say seven o'clock, seven thirty. Fumes on the bomb tower. Put him to that expo gold sword apartment with the rage. Final with the yeti at nine thirty and the wizard at nine. And you start your queen at outside of the single inferno tower compartment. Take out the CC there and then let her walk into that. Uh, then the other side because the warden and the queen. Okay, yeah, on the right side. Then war break in town. Thank you. Like 10 minutes after that. Should I rage? Yeah, I did. Stupid hound. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Warden? Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeti Fana? Minion? Maybe you could freeze both defenses if you need it. I don't think so. You... Yeah, you should be fine. Okay. Yeah, good. Holy shit. We'll try to keep the queen alive. Mm, um, you should try to use your king because the healers are targeted by the eagle. Okay, queen is safe at the moment. It's looking yeah. good. We don't need anything for the queen anymore. I don't know about that freeze. Mm. Maybe you would have needed it in the back end to save the RC. Yes. <clears throat> the king is doing a nice job at the moment. Mm -hmm. Do that. Nice, I'm taking the switch. Gonna be close on the back end. The stupid queen is going for the wrong wall. Mm. He's gonna be target now. Yeah. He takes out the RC with He does. RC, RC. Oh, okay. He didn't have ability? Yeah. Eh, it's gonna be close. Uh, can you get the fine, I, think. I think the queen can take out the single. If the miners don't take the king out before. Yeah, she got that. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's a matter of time, right? Uh, at the archer, as soon as the uh, 
Mortar is tanked, yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's gonna be close. Thanks. No, the tornado, fuck. No. I, I mean, the okay. miners are fine, but still. They don't care. Queen, take out that wizard. How oh, cares? How oh, cares? Yes! <laughs> no way. Oh, <laughs> it was low. Oh my Let's god. Left, go. Uh, left, go. <laughs> oh my god, half a second. The warden <laughs> snipes the last building. I'm the only one to get tripled and the only triple. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. Danny, nochmal fix auf Deutsch. Du lässt über den Bombenturm die Blinds zu dem Expo reinfliegen. Rage drauf. Alright, you need help, Danny? Or you gotta figure it out? We'll figure it out. We gotta get the perfect war. We gotta get the perfect war. Closest triple ever, dude. That was really close, wasn't it? Half a second left. Oh man. Oh man. Here we are with the next attack from Penta. On Maxi's base. What they are doing on your base. Oh, yeah. I was just checking how I can uh, end a. Uh, <coughs> What's up, Tony? Uh, automatic subscription on Twitter. Uh, Twitch. <laughs> What have I done to you? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to cancel his subscription to Itsu's channel. <laughs> well, I placed the giant bomb very good there. Very well. Can the yeah. king die already? <laughs> Not anymore. Um, the king took out the the builder hut that would have pulled the queen, I think. Closes his air defense to his healers. The keeper is kind of stupid because he's like it's pushing oh. the healers away from the. Oh, from the, the tornado pulled the queen into the warden range. That was nice. Yeah, that was one of the things which we did there. Is she and gonna die? Against that, against that charge. Yeah, she dies. Well. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, yes! Ooh. I'm going to use this base in all wars that we play. Okay. <laughs> There's only 400 people watching this right now. <laughs> in, uh, in the September qualifier. <laughs> we'll all use it. <laughs> uh, my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much percent they can get, though. Hybrid from the top side. Burn. All of our bases are burned at the moment. Like, <laughs> why would you use fresh base for community leaks? Uh, using the heals pretty early. <laughs> They'll be able to get a decent percent, but gonna be another defense for Tribe. Which means all the pressure on Danny to try and get the perfect war. Oh baby. She has to die. Oh, she's not dying. Jesus. Finally. There we go. Nice defense for Maxi. Back in a few wizards still up. Giant bomb's gonna wreck them. One party wizard gonna die. Has a minion and a couple archers. But not really anywhere to drop them. It's gonna be 76%. If he had used all of those troops on one building, it would have been 1%. Oh, he's gonna die. Ooh. Last two attacks will go in at the same time. I think we're gonna watch Danny's hit just to see if we can get the perfect war. The war is pretty much already won. Danny just has to get one star and the war is over. So it is gonna be a victory for Tribe Gaming unless Danny somehow disconnects right away. Make sure I knock on wood there, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the perfect war though. And for everybody watching, just so you guys know, we do have another war after this. Uh, we have actually a 10v10 war, our TWL semifinals, which is going to start 
I believe, uh, in like 30 minutes from now. So if you guys want to watch us do some more live planning, it should be fun. And 10v10 war, lots of attacks. It'll be Tribe Gaming versus Brazilian Effect. Is TDH playing in it? Uh, let me check what our roster, what our lineup is for it. I can tell you guys right now who's playing in it. It'll be Itsu, Sir Longsword, Shazo, Hooked, Nick, Nicholas, Maxi, Lexnos, Elliot, and Ziggy. <laughs> so no, TDH won't be in this one. He opted out. Us not playing? Uh, no. Us is still at work. Dang, Hocus, dang. No, Shazo? Yeah, Shazo's in. Who's in the other semifinal? Uh, I could um, tell you. Ziggy, I guess. I could tell you. Let me find the TWL server. The other semifinal is Hopelessness versus Unicorns of Love. Like Snoop, oof. Why Nicholas never play in the tournaments? He does. He plays 5v5s with uh, I Am Crying. And is he playing this match with us in 30 minutes? I think so. Let me check again. I already forgot the list. Yeah, he'll be playing the 10v10 with War with us. He plays CWO League. As well as the proper breakdown leagues? Uh, yes. Who's going in next? Danny. Danny will be attacking for us, and La Flame is attacking for them. Let's see what kind of attack they're doing. Looks like a Zap hybrid. But <clears throat> the war is pretty much won here for Tribe. So let's go ahead and see if Danny can get the perfect war for us. If only Hook played as well. He is playing the war with us today. Tickle. So here we go. Danny's attack coming in with the battle blimp nice and early with the rage spell. Try and get the scatter shot, it looks like. And Yeti's pull to the right, please. Get the scatter shot, get the scatter, get the scatter. They do. Perfect. What's he doing next? Also, I think they killed the headhunters that were in there. That's good. Now he's going to try to walk into the single target inferno compartment, it looks like. He's gonna funnel the top side here. Poison for the lava oh, pups. Danny's life. He is Maxi. He is. A couple of hogs here trying to get that archer tower down, and he really wants the storage down. It looks like those skellies might actually pull a queen farther than he wanted to do. All right, queen, which way to go? She goes inside. Does he freeze? No. Perfect. Rage up. He will have to freeze here in a second. There goes the freeze. But still, it's looking good. Queen gets that. And what's he going to do from here on out? Is he going to hybrid from the bottom side? How did the eagle activate? He just he dropped a wall breaker and the eagle activated. He should be able to get the town hall now with the queen charge. Oh my gosh, that other wall breaker was stupid. Eagle artillery is on his healers, which is not good. Stay alive, healer, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. He's trying to funnel the queen in using a couple miners. She does stay in, and now the rest of the hybrid coming from the bottom. So queen should be able to get the town hall. Oh, that freeze. No, Danny. Rip, he missed the king with that freeze. And queen's going to have to pop her ability, and she's not going for the town hall. Oh, she is. Okay, perfect. Does she get it down? Oh no. Oh no. She doesn't. Oh, why did he have to miss that freeze? Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. We have to pop the ward ability here. All of the hybrid troops died. He should be able to save the two star at least. Okay, Rochan goes for the town hall. Not going to be the triple we were looking for for the perfect war, but at least he saved the two star there. Whew, that was a little scary for a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the enemy's attack. Here on Nick's base. What's this? Thank you. 
Looks like they're going to fail. Going to be a defense for Tribe here. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Well, should have just done the drag bit plan we had. That last minute plan was completely wasted. Oof, nice try. Don't know why I did that plan, but yeah. <sighs> nice try. Triple it's going to be a victory here for Tribe though, 14 to 11 in week 2 of MLCW, nice win for us, pretty good performance offensively. At least yeah. you tried something new, not like me. Oof. I mean I did triple with your Shai but also qualifier. I know, <laughs> but it's like not your go-to strategy normally. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was because the execution was just like the plan was not good. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I mean, the hybrid got nothing and you didn't make any mistakes there. Nice try, Denny. <laughs> Denny, are you not able to play in the 10v10 war? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, that's fine. We have 10. It starts right now, right? It starts... Uh, we send the war request in 28 minutes. Okay. So I'm gonna hop off of voice now and come back when the war starts. Okay. Me I'll too. I'll talk to you guys soon. Nice win, guys. Bye. I'll be back in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, GG. Good stuff. See ya. There we go, guys. We got the victory. 14 to 11. Pretty convincing victory here for Tribe over Penta in week two of the MLCW ESL League. GG's to Penta.